Hello community, so great that you are back. Yes, we have the new Sonnet 4.5 sinking in 32k and I have to issue a warning. Why? Now, everybody knows Claude Sonnet 4.5, no sinking 32k here on AGI2 leaderboard. My goodness, it's absolutely amazing. Look here at this performance test and if you look closer, wow, unbelievable here, GPT-5 Nano, GPT-5 High, and here we have Claude Sonnet 4.5 sinking 32k and you know what, it reaches already 14% on this particular, very particular test. And I thought, hey, this is amazing. But what about the difference to 100%? Does it mean it fails and the rest? Well, I said, unbelievable. Let's have a look at original. And it, here Entropic tells us, hey, Sonnet 4.5, you have domain specific knowledge and reasoning is now so much better. And I have a look here at STEM and I see, oh yeah, Opus 4.1, 16K sinking, 62%. And now imagine we have 69%. But what does this mean if you have a real world test? What does this 70 to 30 mean? You fail 30% of the time, you get an incorrect result. I said, this is not possible. But luckily I have my own task. And you know, here you see the smaller steps you use, the better they are. And now for one year, I run here my task. And here you see currently the best models are Gemini 2.5 Pro and a GPT-5 syncing with eight step solution. But we also have here a Sonnet 4 here with 11 step the solution. So the less steps you have, the better you are. And eight here is the absolute best. And now you might say, okay, you have all the videos here from all the models. And unfortunately, Sonnet 4.5 non-syncing was not so good. But have you ever tried Sonnet syncing in the maximum syncing variant? Let's try it out. So here we have it, Sonnet 4.5 syncing 32K here on the right side. On the left side, please ignore GLM 4.6. We are looking here at Sonnet 4.5 and you see, the first thing that you see is, yeah, it's very accelerated, 700%. So this is not real time what you see. You see here the reasoning traces of both models. So this is not the output. This is just the thinking process. And you see a major difference between those two models because Sonnet 4.5 just gives us here complete nonsense. It tells us I'm doing this. I am tracking here. And yeah, do we have a first result? 14 presses is the first result by Sonnet 4.5. This is the best, the minimal, everything is perfect, this is Pareto optimal, and this is incorrect. But at least 14 presses and we found a solution. So let's say, let's do a validation run. So the system should automatically verify the own result, go step by step, show that every constraint is met, and Sonnet 4.5 is off. I was telling you, you cannot use the reasoning traces here of Sonnet 4.5. Oh, we are already done. Yes, everything is ready. Beautiful. Look, everything is validated. Sonnet 4.5 tells us, yeah, this is 14 step. This is validated. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Done. So we have a confirmed result. And let's do now the optimization because, you know, 8 is the best. And Sonnet 4.5 has 14. So let's give it a try if Sonnet 4.5 can go a little bit, I don't know, a 10-step solution because, hey, it is one of the best models out there. No? So let's have a look and I say, hey, try to find a shorter sequence of button presses and you see here again the reasoning trace. And this reasoning trace is like, I'm doing this and now I'm exploring further. Hey, my current idea is, but compare this to the left side where you see the real reasoning traces. So Sonnet 4.5, okay, we have something. And now validate the optimization result. And, and this is new, I say, show me a risk assessment of your uncertainty for every step. And now it happens. Remember, we have a valid validation, a confirmed validation of the result. But if I just add, show me the risk assessment of your uncertainty for your step, we have not a reasoning traces, but wait, something is going to happen now. So we have two results now. And guess what? Have you seen it? Never mind, I will go back. Just tell you, it detected an error. Here, I cannot validate. We have a complete failure. 
because now Sonnet 4.5 tells us, I cannot validate my solution. All three attempts are invalid. Also, the validated attempt is invalid now. What do you want me to do now? I need to find a new solution. So, the validation of the validation shows us it was incorrect the whole time. It was a critical failure. In all three runs, also in the validated run, it provided an incorrect solution. Here, 3 minutes 51 seconds thinking, and it found out, oh, I was wrong the whole time. So, if you have a more complex causal reasoning task, a logic task, or maybe a coding task that is extended, be extremely careful, because even if you have a validation, it will tell you, yes, I'm right. But as you see here, another four minutes in, and it tells you, I'm completely wrong, I messed up everything, what should I do now? So this is the state of the art, Sonnet 4.5, thinking 32K. Here, look, disabled, critical error detected. So maybe you should add, hey, do a risk assessment of your uncertainty for every step, because then you see here, uncertainty medium. How beautiful is this? So careful, Sonnet 4.5.